Hello and welcome to episode 16 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at reflectors. They're super easy to set up, so I've already got my example ready. This is Ganondorf's jab with a reflector. The reflector is declared on frame 18, and then it's removed on frame 14. Here is the code for both. Firstly, let's take a closer look at the properties of reflectors. Firstly, we need to pass fighter into it, and then these two are just saying that we are def and then these two are just saying that we're declaring a reflector in specific, since in Smash they're coded as a special type of shield, as you can see. There's then an ID, meaning that multiple reflectors can be out at a time, just like hitboxes, as long as they have different IDs. Next, like a normal hitbox, you also have the bone that it's attached to. Add in the size, one set of coordinates, and a second set of coordinates, just like normal hitboxes. Up next is the damage multiplier. In this example, if Ganon reflects a projectile that does 10%, it'll now deal 40%. This one's the speed multiplier. I have it set to 10%, so that it's super obvious if it worked or not. 200 is what I've set the damage cap to. This is usually used so that a projectile that's constantly being reflected isn't getting too powerful. I commonly see this around 80%. And now we actually don't know what this boolean is. If you want to experiment, be my guest, but know that it very well may be unused. Here's the life multiplier. Let's say that a projectile has 60 frames left when it hits the reflector. Now it has 1200 frames left. In normal gameplay, this is set to a value like 1.2 or 1.5. But I just have it set to 20, so it's also really obvious that it worked. And then this last argument is the type of a reflector. It typically doesn't matter, but I prefer keeping it as the home bat reflector. And let's see how this works in Smash. Exactly like we defined it. As usual, the code that I used will be available in the description under item 1. And I hope this helped. Happy modding!